the mysterious life of the Count of Saint-Germain, fact, legend, and legacy. The Count of Saint-Germain is one of the most enigmatic figures in European history, known as much for his intellect and charm as for the air of mystery that surrounded him. His life story is filled with tales of immortality, secret knowledge, and connections to European nobility and clandestine societies. Even though many aspects of his life remain obscured by legend, his influence across 18th century Europe is undeniable. From royal courts to secretive alchemical practices, Saint-Germain left an indelible mark on those he encountered. This essay delves into the extraordinary and often puzzling life of the Count of Saint-Germain, exploring the mix of fact and fiction that continues to fuel his legend to this day. Early life and arrival in Europe, the origins of the Count of Saint-Germain are shrouded in mystery, contributing to the legends surrounding his persona. He first became a notable figure in European high society in the mid-18th century. Despite his sudden appearance, he quickly ingratiated himself with the European elite, showcasing a profound command of multiple languages and knowledge of various cultures. His ability to converse fluently in many European languages alongside others like Chinese and Arabic suggested a well-traveled and well-educated background. This initial intrigue set the stage for his enduring mystique. The enigmatic wanderer Saint Germain's notoriety grew due to his extensive knowledge and talents, particularly in music, the arts, and sciences. He was reputed to play the violin with exceptional skill and possessed a deep understanding of alchemy, claiming to have the secret knowledge of transmuting base metals into gold and discovering the elixir of life. His descriptions of historical events were so vivid and detailed that listeners were convinced he had witnessed them firsthand, further fueling rumors of his immortality. The Count's vast knowledge of history and his apparent direct experiences with major historical figures like uh, Henry VIII and Nero only added to his mystique, as he often stated that he had been present during those times, royal courts and political influence. Throughout the 18th century, Saint-Germain frequented the royal courts of Europe, from France to Russia, often becoming involved in diplomatic activities. His charm and mysterious aura made him a sought-after guest and confidant among nobles. He was known to have advised several kings and high-ranking officials imparting his seemingly boundless knowledge on political and social matters. His influence at court peaked during his time in France, where he became a close associate of King Louis XV and was involved in several secretive diplomatic missions. Casanova himself remarked on Saint Germain's ability to engage others in brilliant conversation and his unparalleled musical and scientific skills. Despite his refusal to share personal details, the Count continued to navigate European politics with ease, gaining favor in the most prestigious circles. Alleged immortality and continued sightings, the legend of Saint Germain's immortality was bolstered by his consistent appearance. He seemingly never aged beyond 45. Ah. After his reported death in 1784, sightings of him continued unabated across Europe. He was allegedly seen at the storming of the Bastille in 1789 and at numerous other historical events into the 19th century. Some even claimed to have met him in secret Freemason lodges and other esoteric gatherings. These accounts added to his mystique and led to speculations that he was either immortal or had discovered the means to extend his life significantly. By the late 19th and early 20th centuries, his association with secret societies and occult knowledge had cemented his status as an almost mythical figure. In 1870, Napoleon III had even commissioned an investigation into the Count, although the records were mysteriously destroyed in a fire shortly after. Death and posthumous legend. Saint-Germain's official death was recorded in 1784. He supposedly died of pneumonia and was buried in Eckenförde, Germany. However, the mystery did not end with his death. The following year, he was reportedly seen alive and his name appeared in official documents and eyewitness accounts throughout Europe. His involvement with various esoteric groups 
and the ongoing sightings contributed to the myth that he was an ascended master, a figure with supernatural powers who transcended traditional human boundaries. Theosophists like Madame Blavatsky and Annie Besant later claimed that Saint Germain was one of the ascended masters, beings who possess great wisdom and powers and guide humanity's spiritual evolution. Conclusion The life of the Count of Saint Germain remains one of the most captivating mysteries of European history. His story blends fact, fiction, and legend in such a way that distinguishing between truth and myth becomes nearly impossible. Whether he was a talented musician, diplomat, an alchemist, or an immortal figure with access to secret knowledge, the Count's legacy lives on, inspiring fascination and speculation for centuries. His name continues to echo in both historical records and the imaginations of those intrigued by the arcane and the unexplained. Whether viewed as a historical figure or a mythical legend, St. Germain's life invites us to explore the boundaries between reality and fantasy, reason and belief.